Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. In today's video, we have an action-packed video. We were actually going to break this apart into two or three videos, but I just got off the phone with Zach. And we're like, you know what? Let's just do everything in one big video. So as you saw in the thumbnail, you probably know exactly what this car looks like. We did two external transformations. We are transforming the exterior appearance of the 328. Now, the last time it was on camera, I believe it had a gray bumper, a black hood, a blue fender, and most of the other parts of the car were silver, except for the side skirts and bumper. Um, so it was definite, it looked like that uh, that Volkswagen, like Harlequin car. Um, so it looked, it looked horrendous. But it is now uniform and it looks really cool right now. So we're, we're very happy with, um, with how it looks now, especially compared to what it used to look like. Right now I'm actually in the car. I'm on 95 and I'm headed north to AWE. I can't really say much about that, but all I can tell you is they've had my G80 for the last three weeks. So if you wanna come to any conclusions, you are welcome to. I'm, I didn't officially say anything. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I gotta go pick up that car. Um, this car is already color changed and it looks night and day better. So with the 328, I know a lot of you have been asking for updates and what is going on with the car. Why don't you make videos with it? I'm here for the 328 content. I get it, I get it, I get it. With all of the part shortages and whatnot, it's been a little bit difficult to get some parts. And what we've been doing, instead of buying a part and then making a video on it and then waiting a couple weeks and then buying a part and then making a video on it, we were like, you know what? Why don't we just do every mod essentially that I wanted to do to the first 328 that we had, but as you know, the life of that car was cut short when the car was totaled. So that being said, I was like, man, there were so many things that I wanted to do to that 328, like put turbo on it and put a big brake kit on it and put new wheels on it and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and I just, I never got around to it because as many of you guys know, I was driving actually on 95, gotta watch my where I'm going here. Um, truck of metal fell off the truck and I whacked it and it caused $14,000 of damage to the car. Um, you know, it's one of those things where like, truck was gone, you know, not much you can do about it, just go through your insurance. And then once that car was totaled out, I bought the 335, and then really this is the first 328 that we've had since then. So we're super excited to kind of like pick up where we left off and then just continue to mod this car where we wanted our other car to be. So that being said, we have been stockpiling all of the parts. We have them all in one section of the studio and it's amazing how many parts we have for this car. Now, speaking of AWE, I think the last video we filmed with the 328 was when we had put the 335 exhaust on the 328 with an M Sport bumper and a 335 slash 340 diffuser. Um, and as you saw and heard, that really transformed the rear of the car. So since the rear was done and it was M Sport and it looked a million times better, see the front bumper was a little funky. So I, most of this car was a little bit funky, so we had to do a lot of work to kind of get this thing up to par. We thought, you know what, let's put a full M Sport kit on it. So we did M Sport side skirt extensions. And then after that, we did an M Sport front bumper. So at that point, we had Edwin's old black hood on the car because the hood that came on the car came crinkled. We had a gray front bumper, side skirts, and also rear bumper, uh, but we tried to paint the rear bumper to make it look not as bad, and it just didn't, it just didn't really work out all that well. Um, it just ended up looking kind of funky. We sprayed it on like a 105 degree day, and the paint was drying before it actually hit the bumper, so that didn't really work out. Um, but anyway, we knew we were gonna get the whole car uniformly painted or wrapped or something. So after we installed the bumper kit, the only thing was that my fender on this car was also crinkled from some kind of front end collision. So we actually took the fender, the original fender from my F30 335, the blue one, and put it on here. So when it was all done, it looked really, really bad and it was incredibly embarrassing to drive around like that. So 
From there, what we ended up doing is we took the car over to our friends at TSD Motorsports. If you don't know TSD, that's Cliff and Pete and his guys. Cliff used to be our installer for the longest time, and he was actually one of the guys who helped me start keys when we were doing mobile installations. And then around 2020, we got to a point where I didn't really want to move forward with installations. Um, I just wanted to be able to focus on video content for you guys and working with the parts and things like that. And Cliff was very involved with the installation. So Cliff ran with the installation side of the business and then we ran with the media side and also with the parts and we got a warehouse and now we stock uh, probably a thousand or more parts in our warehouse. Um, so that's more the direction we wanted to go, that's more the direction he wanted to go, so now it works out because when customers come, typically we have the parts available and then Cliff is the guy locally who we go to to have everything installed. Um, so I dropped the car off to Cliff and I said, hey, I know you guys are getting into wrapping, why don't you wrap my 328 and let's go with like a Batmobile look. Let's go with like a matte black. Now, as many of you guys know, my F3335 is Estoril Blue, Estoril Blue, whatever you want to call it, um, and it is one of my favorite BMW colors, but then I went with matte blue, matte titanium ice blue from KPMF, um, and the car looked amazing. I never had a matte finish car before, and the car looks so good in pictures, it's not even funny. In real life, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what color is this? It looks so good. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's wrap it something just completely different. I didn't want to have it so every car that I own, like I have a Ferrari Red, Isla Man Green, I didn't want every car to be super bright. I was like, let's go stealth mode with this one. So from there, Cliff, Pete, Leo, and his guys wrapped my F30 328i, and as you guys can see, it looks amazing. Now, at the time that that was happening as well, the bumpers were off and everything, I said, hey Cliff, the headlights are the halogens and they just, they're driving me nuts. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Um, so I dropped off a set of depot headlights and I just asked them to install them while they were at it as well. And it's amazing the transformation from the start to the finish. Well, it's taken me about uh, 25 minutes to go a mile. So it looks like we're finally starting to move a little bit. It says there is an incident right up ahead here. I can see some flashing lights, so that is not good at all. Look at that, that thing is burnt to a crisp. Oh my gosh. That Corolla was like completely consumed by fire on a rainy day, so. That must have been crazy a little while ago. Sorry, I got a little distracted and had to take a phone call there. Um, but speaking of distracting, you know what's the most distracting thing in this car? I don't, really, I don't know if it's really distracting or not, but um, it's disgusting. Check this out. I know that we've talked about this at length before. This is the most disgusting handle. Ew, I just smeared it on my finger. Ugh, that's disgusting. As many of you know, the F-Series BMW has a problem that the E-Series, it's disgusting, I don't even want to touch this handle on this door. Um, it has the same issue where the handle like deteriorates over time and literally, I, I wiped some of it off, but look, it's still on my finger. It's just, it's disgusting and it's all tarry and nasty. So what we do is we offer um, hard plastic ABS ones that replace these and it's smooth and it's nice. I did it on my other car. Um, makes it a million times better. So you better believe that that is one of the first mods that we're gonna do this car because I just feel like, I don't know, you take a shower, you get in the car, and then it's just like your hand feels disgusting. You're like, what the heck is going on? Oh, and before I get to tell you, we got really cool hats. We got them in camo and black. These are snapbacks, as you can see. Um, we also got them in black, and we also got them in navy and white. So if you guys are looking for some new Cool Keys merch, we haven't really done that much with merch, and we're gonna try to change that. A lot of you guys ask for it, so we're like, you know what? Let's deliver. All right, I gotta put this thing back up here so I can drive with two hands instead of one. It's also a lot less obvious that I'm vlogging while driving, so people don't give me weird looks. Um, so now that you kinda know what's going on 
with the F30, you know that it is now matte black like the Babamule, and you know that there is a full build coming for it, just kind of bringing you up to speed on some of these things. Let's talk about the G80. So as I said before, the G80 is at AWE. We are 22 minutes away. Today is not about what AWE is doing with it. Um, basically, they had the car for three weeks and we're gonna have the car back for probably two weeks or so. And then we're gonna flip flop again. So basically, I'm driving the 328. I'm going to leave it at AWE for two-ish weeks. And then from there, you know, I'm gonna get the G80, drive that home, do a couple things to it. We are going to revamp the whole exterior. That's no secret at this point, but it is kind of a secret what it looks like. So if you guys haven't skipped ahead, let us know down below what you think we're going to do to the exterior of the G80. Uh, but we have some really cool content that I can't wait to talk to you about on the G80. Now, while we're talking about it, I think the last video we may have posted on it was the Vorsteiner wheel video. Um, and we actually ended up taking the wheels off. Um, the 21, I ended up talking to Vorsteiner just after driving around for a couple days. It looks really cool, I think it looks amazing. But the problem was, I think the 21 is just its just too big. Um, looks wise, like when you have the car parked and you take pictures for Instagram or whatever, the car looked freaking awesome. It looked like it had supercar wheels and because of how the car is built, because the car is like the size of like an F10, um, I thought that it just fit really well, like the overall size. But when it comes to like, performance driving, tire availability, and you know, like when you're driving on this much rubber, it's just not fun. I mean, you, you hit the smallest crack and you like your teeth fall out. So that was, that was a concern. So we ended up taking those off the car and we're going to be swapping them out with something different in the near future. And we also have a couple other Vorsteiner parts that you guys could probably guess that are going to be going on the car. Um, we also be doing some things that have to do with the performance of the car and so forth. So lots coming up, but today, before we do any of that, I wanted to revamp the exterior of the car. Um, I was going to do this on day one when we bought the car, but I actually, as I was driving back from North Carolina after I picked up the car from the Performance Center, as a couple of you know, I don't think I really broadcast it, I actually got a really bad rock chip in my front bumper. So it was like, ah, like it just kind of put a damper on everything. It was like, what do I do? Do I still move forward with the exterior color change or, or what have you, um, or not? So I actually held off for a little while and now we're kind of between a couple projects. We're going to be doing a lot with the exterior of the car. It was like, you know what? Now is the time. So let me finish driving the AWE and I'm not sure if we're gonna film inside or not. I might just, just do a quick grab of the car and then head out. Um, and then we're going to take it and we're going to drop it off at the next destination. So check it out, ready? Look at that. It's like the Batmobile. And as you can see, we have the depot lights. They look so good. To finish out the mat, we put the mat grills on. Now we are going to be doing a lip. We have wheels, we have suspension, we have whole bunch of other stuff. We're gonna do a bunch of performance stuff. We have a turbo that we've had for, we ordered it like three months after buying the car. So we've had it for what, like two years. Um, a lot of interior, exterior. Check it out, look at that though. Straight Batmobile, it got pretty dirty on the way here. Mainly just wet. Um, these are my old F80 wheels. We figure, you know what? And hey, look at those wimpy brakes but they will not be there for long. We got some really cool um, BMW big brake kit stuff that's gonna be going on. I mean, you're gonna take it from that to something a lot more epic, because uh, that is not epic. So let me lock this thing and we'll head inside. It's funny, I've done, what, 500 videos. I'm still the worst vlogger out there, but hey, I'm working on it. I'm trying to, trying to get better. I always find myself doing things I just said that I'm not gonna do. Like, I'm like, I'm just gonna put the camera down. I don't wanna get it wet. And here I am walking around the car in the rain. 
There's the G80 next to that WRX and Camaro. There's always such a nice lineup when you walk up to AWE. You never know if it's gonna be Audis or what. Speaking of Audis, Todd's car, the red one right there, stinking awesome. I love this car. Look how big the brake is on this thing. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's huge. That's like significantly bigger than my big brake kit on my F80. All right, just leaving AWE. I, uh, I just kind of stopped in today to just pick up the car. So I didn't really think I was gonna be feeling much and I'm not really supposed to be talking about anything. So um, there's not really much I can show you today. But look, the G80, it's back. I can't believe it. I've missed you, G80. I love how every car that I have is a little bit different. The F80 is just like pretty rowdy. So if you're in the mood to drive a rowdy car, you drive that one. If you're wanting to drive a rowdy car in the rain, you take the M340i. If you want to go on a date and not annoy your wife, you take the G80. So it's cool. If you want to take a car and uh, swap it with another one for a couple weeks, you take the 328. There's like always an option. If it's a nice summer day, you take the Mini Cooper. So um, always options. So now I am going to go and I am going to actually meet up with formerly Supra officer, who is now boost officer, my friend Bill, and uh, we're gonna go have lunch. So I'm gonna go over there, meet Bill for lunch slash brunch, because it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning, and then we will head off to the wrap shop. Now, speaking of the G80, this is the last time you guys are probably ever going to see it like it is right now. Isle of Man Green from the factory, quite filthy but let's take one more walk around so that you can remember the car as it was. And I hope you guys like what we're about to do. It's gonna be a little bit different and I really love what we're gonna be doing. So let's take one more look. And I know that my walk around didn't do it any justice because it is absolutely filthy. Um, but you guys know what it looks like. So let me go grab lunch with Bill and then we're gonna head over to the shop and then I'm gonna have to come back in a few days, but for you guys, it's all gonna be the same video. And then we'll pick it up and finally reveal what it looks like for the very first time. Now, in case there's any confusion, there is not a 2JD in this Audi TT RS. Not a chance. <laughs> Dude, this is cool, I haven't seen it. I, I, I thought you were gonna pull up in your truck. This Dude. thing's a blast though, I love it. Dude, your seats and everything are so cool. This is like straight R8. That's so cool. <laughs> I love this car. It's about to get louder. Yeah. Not today. I love the stitching and stuff. That's so cool. And your back seat is a complete waste. Unless you literally don't have legs wow. at all. The cool thing though is like when it folds down, there's actually like a lot of room in this thing. Yeah. So. I like it, I approve. We are here at Designer Wraps. It is right around the corner here again. They are going, oh, I haven't said what I'm gonna do yet. They're going to do something to the car. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what. We're just going to kind of start to go through the process a little bit and then you're gonna see in like five seconds. Um, but then we're gonna take it from there. So here we are. All right, we are back here at Designer Wraps. We wanted to check in midweek just to see how the progress is going and to see how everything looks. So let's head inside and check out the progress.
All right, so today is delivery day. Now we did delay this a couple more days because we did add ceramic coating. So right now the car has ceramic coating, it has PPF and then ceramic coating. So I'm not sure how much more protective you could get than that. Now we did get a little bit of a sneak peek and while we were here the other day, we were thought, you know what? The fender badges are off while we're going this far. We might as well add the new carbon ones from BMW. So on our way here, we stopped at the shop and we got some of these bad boys. Look at that, BMW OEM dry carbon. So once we get in there, we're gonna snap these on and then these are the completing piece of our stealth wrapped Isle of Man G80 M3. So when we picked up the car, we were in a room of guys that were trying to work. So we didn't want to be the annoying YouTuber that was like, look at my car, you know, and just make it super awkward. So now that we have a little privacy, wanted to show you what this looks like. So once again, my car is Isle of Man green, and this is stealth wrapped. Um, as I said before, we actually had the car ceramic coated, which doesn't make it look any different. Um, and then we had it PPF with stealth wrap from Expel. And then we went over it again with more ceramic coating just to make it so that it's a lot easier to take care of. One thing that I really love about the car is if you look at it, it still has that metallic look to it. It doesn't look like completely flat. When you look at it, you do a double take because you're not really sure if it's stealth wrapped or not. But when you see the difference in this compared to a car that isn't matted out, um, it is a huge difference, especially when it comes to video, which is a big reason why we did this. As you can see, it's pretty sunny right now. If the car wasn't stealth wrapped, you can even see like off the back of Zach's, the sun is like blinding us. Um, you see every tree branch and everything. Yeah, you see every tree branch, you see my swing set in the background, you see everything. You see Zach picking his nose. <laughs> um, with this, it just softens everything. It's like when we film, we don't have like a flat, we don't have like Gary holding the flashlight up. We have these big, wide, soft lights that help spread out the light and make everything look a lot nicer. This is the exact same thing. Because a lot of the trim is gloss black, that little stuff and PPF, it's just, they don't really get along. So we decided to leave a lot of things black. So like down here is still black, but that is wrapped with gloss PPF. Also, we have some carbon fiber things we're doing and we didn't want to have like matted out carbon and then glossy carbon. So what we did is the roof is actually done with a regular gloss PPF. These are PPF. We ended up having these wrapped um, with gloss black vinyl wrap. Um, and then the inside of the handle is just untouched just for, for wear and tear and whatnot. Um, it's very difficult to wrap handles with PPF. So we were like, you know what? Let's just do something a little bit different because it, this you know, goes with this and it goes with this. And then we also left the shark fin in the gloss black. And then in the back here, this is PPF. All the black is PPF. So you can see we went with the gloss and then that. And then I just love, I love how this car looks. It looks so good. It makes, Zach wants me to mat out the Ferrari red. I said I'd do it if you paid for it. Um, but it just looks so good. It's gonna be so easy to take care of. I love the blue car, I love how it looks um, because it has that like satin look. Sorry, I really like the way this car looks, especially with that metallic. It just looks so good. I don't know why. Here's the thing. If you're gonna get the matte option from BMW, I think it's an extra 5,000 bucks. On average, this will cost you like six to $7,000. It's a lot of money. This protects your car 
you can mat out any color you want. You can get an individual car and mat it out. And then it looks awesome and you don't even have to worry about it because the thing with the matted cars, I was gonna get that blue, I forget what blue it is, um, but it's a matte blue. And the reason that I didn't was like, if we had to pull off a spoiler and we needed to polish something, you ruin the paint. If my kids are riding some kind of wheeled device, whether it be a crazy cart or a skateboard or whatever, and accidentally brush against the car and they scratch it, with this, I'm protected. You know, unless they like T-bone me. Um, with the matte finish, if you get a little scratch, you have to paint like half the car because it's very difficult to match. And it's not like if there's overspray, you can sand it and just polish it out. It's not that easy to work with. So I think this is definitely the best option. Um, I need to get my windows tinted. <laughs> so I actually have the stuff. I might, might do a DIY, we'll see. I haven't tinted in like seven years, six years maybe, five years. It's been a long time, uh, but maybe we'll do that. But overall, the guys at Designer Wraps here in New Jersey crushed it. They did a great job. Um, if you saw, they took the door handles off. They, they took all the appropriate pieces off of the car. They know what they're doing. They work on Lambos and, and other high-end stuff. So I I'm very particular on where I leave the car and who I give the keys to. And those guys, I don't have any concerns. Um, so yeah, once again, my name is Brian. That's Zach behind the camera. This is Matt PPF, AKA Expel Stealth Wrap. And uh, we are super happy with it and we hope you guys like it too because we needed to get this wrapped because we might have some carbon that's gonna be going on this car soon. I don't know. So make sure to stay tuned. So once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach. Thanks for watching Keith Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe. Check us out, keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.